Yeah. So we're gonna have a baby. We're getting close to having a baby. Could be today, could be another week. Who knows? I'm 15 over 75. 16 over 80. Oh, wow. Close. Ah, 116 over 80. That was a good guess. So we're on the 18 mile stretch. We're leaving the keys. Uh, Sarah's behind the camera. She thinks we're gonna have the baby this afternoon or tonight, maybe. She's like 70 centimeters dilated. And uh, they don't deliver babies in the keys. So we're heading to Miami and up to Baptist. Baptist. Hopefully, uh, bring you along the way and a little bit of luck have a new baby girl tonight once you get to the hospital and you're in active labor they don't let you eat anything anymore so the whole ride up here i'm just going to be stuffing my face with burger king she yeah got burger no, king. you have to get like greasy nasty like the best of the best to just give yourself calories so burger king no i got a banana and some stuff too burger king will help push the baby out anyway for any of you that go to the hospital like eat before you go because they don't let you eat anything and you starve to death. So that's my tip number one to expecting moms. Also, Nick drives really slow. Like if I was in real labor, we'd be in trouble. 11.53, 11.20, 20, at the hospital. Found a parking spot, got lucky. Drop Sarah off, here we go. So is she gonna have a baby today? I think so. You do? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm not good at timing. Yeah, yeah. Mix your barn. And her new shoes. We're back. We're back in the labor and delivery room, I guess. That's what it's called, right? We're not leaving today till uh, this baby comes out. We're not leaving today, no matter if the baby comes out. Well, Sarah's been here to the hospital quite a bit the last five weeks. We were here for a night uh, a couple weeks ago, but no baby. But today's the day. 38 weeks so hopefully in the next 12 hours hopefully the next six hours really most people get off of work by like 5 or 6 p.m and then the doctors so probably gonna push her before the darkness of night comes i would think all right well it's 1 45 so hopefully the next three or four hours we got a baby the baby's gonna go right here maybe baby before midnight be more realistic. we'll be more realistic we could be here for like days who knows but hopefully sometime today, we have a new baby girl and we're gonna introduce her to you. The Stan Sam is growing. That's where the IV came out. It was a mess. They swabbed me for COVID, which is worse than like giving birth. It's to bad. the COVID swab, so bad. I said I can't film the birth, so sorry about that, but we're gonna show you before and after, hopefully. That COVID swab goes way up in there. Editing a YouTube video. It is almost 6 p.m. No baby yet. She's over there getting ready. Hey, Sadie. Oh, look. Hi, Sadie. Look at that. It's 1014. Just got Sarah a cheeseburger. Got a good parking spot right up here close to the hospital now. Feel like we're winning. Hopefully, the baby comes here in the next few hours. Could be a long night. Okay, update. It is. 2.30 in the morning. There's Nick in the couch. He's been sleeping since like 9.30 or 10, I want to say. So they broke my water. I got an epidural and I'm now nine centimeters in less than two hours of them breaking water and whatnot. So moving right along and probably going to start pushing soon. So I either let Nick sleep through part of it and just wake him up for the finale maybe because he gets queasy so he doesn't need to sit there and be nervous for an hour if it takes me an hour to push but we'll see it's almost the end well it's 3 21 a.m sarah and i both thought we'd have this baby about 10 hours ago she really didn't know baby yet though but she's getting close she's hanging in
on top of mom. I gotta come up with a name now. We got a couple choices we can do. She was almost eight pounds two weeks early. She would have been like a ten pound baby. Holy smokes. I wonder if she was she tried to come out early. She was just done pooping, I think. I think so. What happened to you? I fainted at the miracle of life. And I woke up on the ground over there. The doctor caught the baby, literally, and dropped the baby on my chest, and then caught Nick and saved him from smashing his head into the ground. This is our new baby girl. Started a great job. She got a head full of hair. I gotta come up with a name still. A lot more hair than Sadie had. But we're in love already. She's so well behaved so far. She is. Good. But she's still got time. She's two and a half hours old. Brand new. So we move rooms right out of labor and delivery room into our room for the next day or two. Sarah's getting her first meal. She is starving. She's a trooper. Eggs and French toast. The French toast smells good. Of course, we got a banana over there. A little baby. We going with Claire, you think? I think so. I think we're going with Claire. Not officially yet, but looking that way. Hey, sweetie. Claire Bear. Hello, everybody. She's so quiet. Almost eight hours old. So the baby's officially eight hours old. We're doing some skin on skin contact. She's rooting around. I think she's hungry. She's a big baby, though. Almost eight pounds. A lot bigger than Sadie. Seven pounds and 14 ounces. Say hi. It's a, uh, an amazing feeling, and all you moms out there that have given birth before, good on you because uh, it's a feat, and I know it's a toll on your bodies, and the uh, creation of life is beautiful. Scary too, though. I fainted, I fell right over. And check those pictures out again. I think it was everything all combined together. What's her name? Baby, Baby Claire. She's sleeping. Wants to see her eye open, huh? Is she cute? Baby Claire. She's a little sister, Sadie. Are you excited? Your little sister. You have a little friend now. A baby baby. It's 7 p.m. She's sleeping. I'm rocking her. Sarah got her hospital food. It's darn good, too. Mine, mine didn't show up for some reason. I ordered Nick his dinner, but they didn't, only said mine. I'm the important one. You are the important one, I agree. And this little baby, baby Claire. You're just a guy that lays on the floor. Oh, our first little duty. Precious. That's the bed. 729. Sarah didn't really sleep much last night. But look at a precious little baby. We named her Claire. Hi, Claire. Snug as a bug in a rug. Yeah, she wins the hair award. Sadie, is that your baby? Baby Claire. Head on my mask. Hello. <laughs> the new base is in for the infant car seat. We're leaving the hospital. Here we go. You ready to go home, baby Claire? We're going home. Thank you, Baptist. I say thank you to the doctors and the nurses. You all did a great job. Well, we made it home. Sadie and Mima are gonna come over and check the baby out here in a little while. Can't wait to see Sadie's reaction when she sees her new little sister. And I'm back to changing diapers. I didn't really miss this part, but it's part of it. And Sadie and Aunt Leah.
Sadie, that's your sister. Are you excited to see your sister? Yeah, Go meet Claire. What's her name, Sadie? That's all you want to say to her? Aunt Leah and Mima. Yeah. Do you want to see the baby? Remember she was inside her belly? She came out. Look at her pretty hair. That's your little sister, Sadie. Oh, give her a kiss, Sadie. That's your little sister. Aww. She loves you. Gentle. Aww. Look at her little toes. Look at her Look at how little her feet are. Oh, your little sister. Do you love her, Sadie? It's, uh -oh. it's okay. Give her a kiss. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Get to meet your new grandbaby. Baby Claire. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get back to hanging out. We just got back from the hospital a few hours ago. But just want to thank you guys for watching that video. I want to thank all the nurses up there and the doctors. You guys did a great job. You know, and I went out and I fainted when I saw that baby. And it wasn't just seeing, you know, like the blood and the slimy baby. It was emotional, to be honest with you. Like, it's a lot to take in there, you know, being a father again and having another child. Bringing a baby into this world, you know, and hoping the best for him. So all you moms out there, you guys deserve a round of applause. That's a lot of work for you. Just thanks for being part of our lives and uh, we'll see you guys soon. So hit that like button, make sure to subscribe.